All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. My name's Kate Simmons. This is my exhibition, Landscapes and Surfaces, in the Alexander Gallery at Clackamas Community College. It's inspired by a wonderful opportunity to be a recipient from the Regional Arts and Culture Council project grant of an Arts 3C project grant. And along with creating a collaborative experimental video with my collaborator, Sierra St. James, it includes four different sculptural works um, of a variety of different materials. The theme for the entire show is exploring this idea of natural elements and the human body and drawing a comparison to kind of the cyclical nature of growth and decay. So in each of the pieces, the video, the sculptural works, um, there are different takes on these ideas of the landscape and the human figure and their connection. So I would like to talk briefly about the sculptural works before I invite my colleague Sierra to speak with me about the experimental video. Um, the piece that I'm standing in front of is felted wool from um, sheep's wool and it includes a hand-stitched uh, decoration with human hair. Um, this piece was selected for inclusion in the exhibition because of kind of this macro micro poll of the idea of landscapes and also a, a relationship to the surface of the human body so ideas of skin and um, irregularities and in the the idea of growth and decay not only in nature but the human form is is something that I, I find myself personally being aware of right now as especially becoming a middle-aged person and watching you know elements of my own body start to loosen or or wrinkle or gain mass and so I looked I was looking at myself and I was also looking to the landscape for these connections um, so ideas of mountains and valleys but then also this flesh and this thought is continued in these seized aluminum pieces that were poured um, molten aluminum poured into water to shock and cool the form or the material so that um, the process informed the resulting masses that were created and they were included in this show because um, I feel like they have a relationship with inner workings of the body, thinking about c cellular structures or, or blood cells or um, just different kinds of connections that are going on. They're also figurative in their kind of elongated vertical rise and there's lots of opportunities to kind of in investigate the the organizations of the structures and find associations with them. I would like to thank my friend Rachel Denny for these cloches that they are housed in. So I think it worked out nicely. Over to this side, um, this is an opportunity to work with my students. Um, I, I teach sculpture classes at Clackamas Community College and um, a lot of times in uh, teaching students how to make work. Uh, I explore processes with them. So during winter term, we explore ideas of the figure, and um, I ask my students to work from source material of images of their own likeness, and I did so with myself to create busts that were, that had a resemblance to us. Um, this piece, my piece, emerged to being a conversation kind of about uh, a continuation of this idea of growth and decay where like freckles emerge, um, ideas of like rosacea or acne or even skin cancer, things that start to kind of take over the body and rise and um, diminish at times. And so I explored that through incorporating these cast blackberry briars as kind of points of uh, like mapping systems in relationship to the busts. They also have carved 
plywood leaves and um, paint and string. The piece on the wall that is on the shelf is a series of five cast um, plaster works that are pulled from the human body. Um, I made these using my figure and they are included in the show because of uh, continuing that thought about just watching the body change and morph and so uh, portions of the form that gather in different ways um, and noticing their relationship to ideas of the landscape. So um, thinking about valleys and mountains, how they rise from, from the landscape, but also how um, a mass you know, starts to weigh us down. Uh, they are shown in uh, abstracted ways to the viewer so that they're not necessarily recognizable. And light plays a component in their in their um, display because of cast shadows and kind of reiterating um, the idea of landscape. So now I would like to talk about the video, which is um, which is made possible by a grant from the Regional Arts and Culture Council. I would like to invite my friend and colleague, Sierra St. James, up to talk with me about it. Um, it. Before we began this project, I had an idea to use video as a medium to explore this idea of the figure and, and growth and decay. And I met with her because I had the privilege of getting to meet her here at Clackamas. And she has went on to have a career in or videography with PSU and her own um, art pieces. And so we agreed that we would go for a arts project grant to fund the making of the video. And I do not have any, any video background really. She is the brains and beauty behind creating this form. So I'd like to ask her to say a few words about it. Thank you. you think? <laughs> First, I would like to thank everybody for coming out today. I would also like to speak a little bit more casually, if that's all right. So, I want to invite everybody here today to come in as you are, as we're celebrating your bodies um, and your life. And I would like to talk just about how I was going to work this morning. I've been working a lot. And I think I got, I was very much in autopilot. I was, it was almost like I was like out of body. I was just going through my day. And I realized we don't have very much time in this society currently to be, to, to look at our emotions and reflect much. I, I personally don't feel that. Mm -hmm. So everybody who's coming in today, I think that it's great because this little tiny portal that you're in right now is a safe space for you to go about things, watch it, observe it, feel it however you want to feel it. Um, this was a project that was I'm so grateful for. I've always loved Kate mm -hmm. so much. Um, and going out there in nature, finding the time to appreciate the beauty along with the story of life if it is maybe a leaf. I joked a lot about um, a leaf next to some moss on the ground and the moss is, is so full of, of just moist, it's just sucking up the earth and this leaf is there and it's, it's over. It's, it's going, but it's not quite gone. And, and the moss is just, it looks so lush and lovely, but who really had this story to tell? To me, it was the leaf. It was the leaf that was up in the sky. Like, it came down. It seemed so much more than moss. But moss thinks moss is great. Um, and so I just think it's so fun to, like, be able to go out and, and to nature and experience the stories that it was offering us. And then um, that was really great for Kate to shed um, and be vulnerable. To, to allow these moments of how she's feeling about this process through life. 
and I'm really grateful to have invited Andrew Allen to um, get this footage for us. Mm -hmm. um, he was running the camera for this, and uh, I think that he and I really, really appreciated looking at this and observing this and really taking it in. I think that we had a lot of feels for it. So, do you have a couple of words for that? You want to come up? Andrew, can you stand over here? Okay. <laughs> Copy that. Okay. Um, I didn't like prepare a statement, but I will say that this was a really fun project because from the from the set there was sort of a like a really like a fun creative limitation because the project is like is specifically about like the body and Visually, the body and nature, and to me, it was like, well, texture is the thing we're going to focus on, and that was what Sierra was uh, communicating to me. Um, so I feel like I did a really good job of like bringing out a lot of different textures um, in a lot of different scenarios. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Andrew. And the music was by Justin, Justin Robbins. Mm -hmm. is the composer for the music. Um, Tanya Reed is the editor. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.